We are about halfway through the much-needed revamp of Manhattan's Penn Station, and if you're a commuter or just go there for the Krispy Kreme donuts like I do, then you've seen the changes going on. A couple of weeks ago, the MTA decided that they were going to open the passage up possibly for renovations. Renovations that included opening up the original nooks and crannies, and you can imagine there were some secrets to be found. We're in Penn Station. So there is a whole bunch of hidden history here, hidden secrets tucked away, but you just learned about one. You had no idea this existed, right? Uh, no, I knew it existed, but I couldn't see it. It was behind a wall. Justin Rivers from Untapped Cities is a Penn Station enthusiast and our tour guide today. We met up at the Long Island Railroad Complex. The whole station was originally built in 1910. Old school New York. Gimbel's was a department store. Why don't you go back to Gimbel's? Rivals of Macy's right in this area, uh, and they were built to connect into the station. So that you can get off your train Correct. and literally go into Gimbel's. Right. Correct. And did you have to go outside? Uh, no. You could just get right off the train, walk down a passageway, and go right under the uh, department store. That passageway closed because of crime in the 80s, but a couple weeks ago, the forgotten passage was spotted open. You just need to know where to go and find it. Amtrak is trying to provide better access from the Amtrak terminal to uh, the one train. We like that, better yeah, access, right? Sure. But this is truly hidden history. Correct. All right, so we're going to go and we're going to find it. Uh, we're going to hang a left here down the Hilton Passageway. So this is the oldest part yeah. of Penn Station. Correct. The oldest remaining intact part. You've got people rushing off the train, coming down here, and they never look up to realize that these are 1917 remnants all around them. So up we go. You look at all of this uh, infrastructure here, it's all old decrepit, but it was gorgeous at one time. And so what we're going to see at the top of the stairs is actually the passage that used to connect Penn to the IRT train. And there it is. So right through this wall, there are Penn's uh, own whisper galleries. It may not look like much, but these are the last remnants of the Gustavino tile work in Penn Station. I know you're asking, what the heck is Gustavino? Rafael Guastavino, a very iconic New York architect at the turn of the century. He and his son came to New York from Spain uh, in the late 1800s and set New York on fire with these vaulted Catalan arched ceilings. You had no idea this was here? So I had known on a map I know was, but it's been completely dark for decades. But all hope is not lost. Gustavino's tile work still remains intact in several places, including the Ellis Island waiting room, the Elephant House at the Bronx Zoo, and one of the best places to see it, the Whispering Gallery at Grand Central. And the Whispering Gallery, truly, you can whisper. And the person on the other side of it can hear exactly what you're saying. If you're adventurous, by the way, you can go in search of that glass door in Penn Station to see the tiles for yourself. If you're in the Long Island Railroad Concourse, head to the southbound one train platform. You'll have to swipe through the turnstile, yes, to pay with your Metro card, and then head up the stairs for a peek of that little piece of New York City history. And thank you to our tour guide from Untapped Cities for taking us there to show us.